what is up guys welcome back to another nba tokyo mobile video so in today's video we'll be doing a beginner's guide to tokyo mobile so if you have started this game recently and you're new to the game then you're in the right place so without wasting any further time let's jump right into it guys so the first thing is your team which is the first option main menu where you obviously have your team and along with your main lineup you can also keep five alternate lineups which is including your main lineup you can have up to five teams and if you have a question why we have five teams i'll obviously be explaining it in the course of the video so you guys stay tuned for that and then you can add gears and mentors for your players now how do you get gears you need to go to the store and how do you get mentors well if you have played in the previous season you will have mentors now suppose this is the first time you're playing this game then you would have gold mentors and then uh, depending on what cards you're able to uh, pull and craft and all of that in this season those cards will become your mentors in the next season so as you can see i have a chris paul here he was my main lineup point guard in the previous season so all, basically your season players become mentors in the following season so so what else can you do here you can train your players you can either max their levels or you can upgrade them depending on the stars so max level for one star is level 10 for two star it is level 25 for three star is level 45 and for four star it is level 75 and for five star it goes all the way up to a level 95 and then upgrade is for upgrading it to the stars like now if i put two more ruby cards this d'angelo russell would become become a two star and i can upgrade him now you can see it's a max level reach but when he becomes a two star i'll be able to push him to a level 25 so that's about that that's that's what you can do here in the my team section and you can obviously select or deselect your team and all of that so that's pretty much what is there in my team let's let's hop in let's not waste any time so next we have collections which obviously as the name suggests it has all of your collectibles cards and every single thing will be in your collections so you can see it in my cards it will list every single card that i have currently as you can see i have a lot of cards and then you go to the next one which is the default collections now what this is is that this contains all the cards in the game so far so the best card at the moment is this winter themed kevin durant he's a 3.7 k power and he's the best card in the game right now so that's what you can see here you can see every every card in this game so far will be listed here in the collections so that's what here it is all of the players which exist in this game now you can see some green bars for some players now these green bar players are the players that you can craft by collecting different kind of collectibles and then you can you can get those players now for example you can see this lebron right he does not have a green color bar under the card so that means this is a non-craftable card and the only way to obtain this card is by pulling it in the draft picks or the season end rewards or any of that. So you cannot craft these players, but this Anthony Davis can be crafted. Like you can see the LeBron cannot be crafted, whereas the Anthony Davis can be crafted. So that's about crafting. And there's only like five uh, players which you can craft from every uh, tier. Like here in Ruby, it's five, Amethyst, it's five, and it goes on like that. So that's pretty much about this section let's hop on to the gear section which is the collection of all your gears and then all your collectibles will be here including your head-to-head -head boosts and then we have the previous season mentors listed here and if you're new to the game you only have five mentors okay so that with that out of the way let's jump into the next section which is the checklist now guys this is something important and this is the checklist that you need to complete every single day. As you can see, I have been lazy and I have not completed my checklist. So if you guys finish the checklist every single day, you get about like 40 coins or 42 coins. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. 
So you gotta actually complete these every day if you want to get coins because getting coins in this game is super super difficult. So that's the checklist guys. The next one is the daily login. So daily login again as the name suggests you gotta log in every single day into this game for 28 days consecutively to get the final reward. Now the rewards in uh, daily login is based off your power and your tier that you are in so my power as you can see is 8960 and i am in the ruby tier so since i'm the ruby tier the final reward in uh, daily login will be one tier better than my current tier now if i was in the emerald tier the last ruby reward i mean the last uh, daily login reward would be a sapphire so it's depending on your tier remember that guys and always remember to log in the game even if you're not playing so that you can get the daily login reward so that's daily login and then we have the store which is kind of sort of useless for people who don't spend money on this game because it's just filled with packs which costs a lot of coins but what you can actually open is the free pack right over here let's open this real quick since it's already available you get some coins and you get some random collectibles okay that's the free pack and you can claim that every four hours and then the next thing you can do is go to foundation and there you have the gear packs you can see the standard gear key packs and the elite gear key packs so that's those are the three things that we can open for free here in the store and otherwise it's kind of useless and the next thing is cruise now what is cruise cruise are pretty much the place where you can just you know bring about other two game about players and you can hoop around them and then you can play three on three crew matches against other crews and defeat them and get more points and you can collect all of that uh, and you know finish certain objectives and you can do the crew challenge as you can see right over here so that's about the cruise guys you can uh, also the best part of the cruise is whatever your progress is in the cruise it gets carried forward in the next season like in the uh, normal game for your seasons and head to head and all of that your players become mentors but the player in your crew will remain the same and that's the best part about the crew so if you keep grinding crew you'll have the same crew player with the same power intact in the next season as well so that's a good part about crew and you can customize and you know you can do a lot of stuff in the crew and you can make your own player so that's about crews and then we have news that's where you know they uh, they give information about the packs and all of that and that's exactly where you can get rewards from your crewmates and that's pretty much what is there here in the news. Now let's hop on to the next one. And guys, before I continue with the video, I would like to give a shout out to the basketball shop. And they have all kinds of basketball merch, guys. They have phone cases, hoodies, caps, shirts, every single thing. You name it and they'll have it. So be sure to check out the basketball shop, guys. You can either directly click on the link in the description or you can go to the basketballshop.com and you can use the code viper to avail a five percent discount at your checkout or you can directly click on the link and make your life easier so be sure to check out the basketball shop guys the links will be in the description and then let's proceed and the, uh, the next option after news is options oh the next option after news is options okay great so in options basically it's the settings you can you know switch on and switch off the music and all of that stuff the graphics and your you know you can see their social media you can do so many things here or you can just log out of the game as you wish so that's pretty much about the section on the left hand side of the game now if you go on top it's the home page you can come to the home page and the home page i'll explain the home page in a bit so now the first thing on top you can see the admiral viper this is going to be your profile so it's going to show what's your name, your player ID, how many followers you have, your favorite team and your, uh, your team and all your stats. Everything will be shown here in your player info. It'll show about your crew information and your following, your career, your achievements and all of that stuff will be in your profile. And then you have the two bars, stamina bars. Now this yellow color stamina bar is used for playing seasons and drills. And this uh, purple color um, event energy is used for playing different events. Now, that's about stamina. And then we have coins here, as you guys know. And then you have the chat. So this chat contains 
the global chat and your crew chat. So if you're on a crew, you can chat with the crew members as well, or you can just randomly chat in the crew, I mean, in the global chat. And then let's talk about the homepage. Let's talk about what we have here. So as you guys, I, I already told you guys about the crew. So that's what it is here, the cruise. And then down we have seasons, which is pretty much like, you know, you have a season game where you have about 10 games and you got to keep playing and you got, you should only lose one match. And if you lose more than two matches, you'll be eliminated and you'll have to play the season again. So, and then you have the semifinals and the finals as any other season and you got to keep playing to get better rewards. And you get top rewards of, you know, either here, you can see I can get a Ruby card or I can get elite gear keys or Ruby rings. So that's in the end of the season when you win the finals you get either of these rewards so seasons are actually very challenging and difficult so you guys need to have very good lineups to play against your opponents in seasons so that's about seasons and then we have drills so drills are basically small uh, uh drills you can just do that in like a couple of minutes and uh, you get sl uh, small rewards like you can get some three draft picks for every drill that you play and then finally you get a reward depending again on your tier. So that's about drills guys, you can try out drills, there's a lot of drills, it's kind of fun so you can give it a try. And then we have events, so now you can see we have the gauntlet event running. And we have three kinds of events actually. We have the gauntlet event, the domination, uh, fantasy finals and they added a new event called king of the court. And you guys can explore those events when they are alive now you can see the gauntlet event is live so you can play the event and then this event will end and the new event will start that's how it works and then we have head to head that's when you can play against other opponents and you can get rewards like you can pull packs you can either get a bronze pack a gold pack or uh, a, you know a silver pack or a super pack which is the best pack and those packs can have all sort of rewards that's pretty much it guys that's all you guys need to know if you're new to the game that's the breakdown that's your guide the beginner's guide and i hope you guys have all the all of your doubts cleared and i hope you guys have a clear idea of how you need to play this game so if you guys still have further comments or doubts you can obviously comment down in the comment section and i will reply back so that was it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to smash that like button and if you guys are new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed, I swear I have no idea what are you waiting for. Just hit that subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything, but it matters a lot for us. So if this video was helpful, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you'll get notified when we upload new videos. And guys, follow us on our social media. The links will be in the description. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.